Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Minecraft Tutorial. And today, we're gonna take care of something rather simple. Because it's apparently a problem for people to understand. We are gonna take care of trading, because in one of the previous episodes, we rescued a villager which is currently over there. So, what is this about? Well, with the villagers, you can trade. You can trade for emeralds or you can trade for goods. So, let's go to our little villager friend. Hello, Dinnerbone. How's it going? And let's see what he wants. But it's probably gonna be wool. Do you want wool? Yes, you want 17 wool for one emerald. And you are selling a lot of wool. Okay. So, let's go gather the wool and potentially some emeralds. Uh, wool is here. And the emeralds should be here. Yes, they are. Lovely. And hello. So, to trade, we place our goods over here. And we, if we are satisfied with the trade, we click on whatever he is offering for it. Only one? Okay. So, what to do now? We cannot trade anymore. As you can see, you have to trade something else to unlock it. But, since he is not offering really that anything that great, let's buy this red wool. We gain some experience and, in a moment, there we go. His trades are now refreshed, so we can get our emerald back. And furthermore, he also should have leveled up, so let's see if he has anything new. And um, no, apparently this is the max we can get on a shepherd. But this is the basic of trading, and yes, you definitely did see this right, I was very busy and made a small village over here, which is still far from being done, but the good thing is it has a lot of houses. They are connected uh, in such a way, so I could pretty much have a, a whole bunch of houses making the wall as well, and yeah, some of them are very simple. Well, most of them are very simple. They are not furnished yet. But they will. And this is a thing I don't really build uh, too often because I like my buildings to be somewhat regular. But yeah, as you can see, most of the buildings are a little bit different than the others. Especially this one. It's small with a glass roof. Originally this was supposed to be a windmill, and maybe it still will be a windmill, but for now it's just gonna be this. And yeah. There will be also a farm over here for the villagers, so they can um, be pretty much self-sufficient for the most part. Probably will plant a golem, maybe two over here as well, so they can guard. And yeah, decided to go with a door like this, so that whenever I free another zombie villager, he can just rush towards there instead of me playing with him to get him to safety there. And let's have a look from this little cathedral of ours. As you can see, it does take a bit of space, but even though it took a long ass to build, it was quite fun. I had plenty of ideas, but sadly I just don't have the materials. But hey, maybe in the future we will expand on this. And yeah. Hopefully soon we'll have a flourishing village that will be really nice. But anyways. That's it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode we probably will start searching for the end fortress. So yeah, stay tuned. And I'll see you then. Bye.